This is an electronic Bulova bracket clock. And yes, I'm aware it's missing its top piece. Maybe one day I can find one for it. I don't know. Now, I haven't gone crazy. I usually don't like electronic clocks, but this one caught my eye for a very specific reason. Because it's a special kind of electronic clock. These aren't really rare over here anyway in America, as in the United States. This is an Atomat movement made by Rhythm, which is a subdivision of Bulova, I think, or they own each other, I don't know, corporate nonsense. This is the time side mainspring battery, essentially, and this is the chime side mainspring battery, I guess you could say, if you want to put it into other words. These two batteries power uh, two different circuits, is what I'm trying to say. And there is your nice close-up of the balance wheel, which moves very fast. And I should be able to zoom in even closer here. You can see there's a nice coil there. And that's the escapement, pretty much. Very accurate. If I come over here, you should be able to see, oh, Rhythm Watch, it's just hidden there by that. Rhythm Watch, 4 joules, unadjusted. So Rhythm Watch made this movement, and it has Westminster chimes, and a special mechanism for counting the hours. This little gear here that you can see that has teeth on it at the first layer of plastic there actually springs up when it uh, is cr done striking the correct amount of hour uh, the the correct hour I can't speak Bulova has made various different versions of this bracket clock with the same premise there's some of them that have university liveries on them and also have university badges down here, or just badges in general. It doesn't have to be university, but there are special university liveries out there, like University of Southern California, for example, is one that Tommy Wiley had, if you're familiar with him. I think it was Southern California. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, now I'll let you hear the chimes. Uh, it does all four quarters of Westminster. Is the motor that powers the chimes. See, that's what I was talking about. It lifts out of the way, and the motor makes a complete revolution until it reaches the end, and then it stops. The Japanese were uh, kind of thinking weird when they designed the chime rods. I don't understand why they... That clock that went off just now was my Elgin, and I wanted to say, just out of a matter of interest, this clock here actually is tuned in the exact same key as the Bulova bracket clock. It's just an, oct an octave or two lower than the Bulova. I just thought that was interesting. Back to what I was saying though, the Japanese were a little weird to design the chime rods like this. Oh, oopsies. Let me start over here. That's an interesting way to design it, rather than uh, having just uh, your um, having it in a straight line. It goes in an interesting pattern. 
I don't understand that, but that's how they made it. The escapement does make just a small amount of noise. You might be able to hear it over the microphone. In summary, that is a Bulova Westminster Atomat bracket clock. I should also mention the reason they call it an Atomat is because, like I showed you earlier, there is magnets on the balance wheel and there is a coil that has electricity passing through it and that excites the magnets, the magnets, sorry, and that causes the balance wheel to be excited which then drives the balance wheel without a form of mechanical force. So, a mechanical force like a spring is what I mean. So the electricity is driving the balance wheel, which then moves the escapement, uh, which then moves the rest of the time, time gears, yeah. I'm not very good at clock terminology. I'm doing my best here to explain. So, nonetheless, though, uh, if you enjoyed the video, you can leave a like or not. That's cool, too. Take care.